following the proposed pronouncement by the Kaduna State Government to clear and relocate Regina, Akilibu and Katari settlements, three communities along the Kaduna Abuja Highway have appealed to the State Governor Nasir Orufai to reconsider plans and consider the plight of vulnerable families in the areas. The communities distanced themselves from the alleged connivance with bandits carrying out various attacks on motorists supplying the road. Communities were not given the benefit of doubt or any fair hearing with a view to establishing the veracity or otherwise of the weighty allegations leveled against us prior to His Excellency's public statement. The inhabitants of these communities have severally been on the receiving end of banditry. Records abound to show that many of our people have been kidnapped, raped, maimed, or killed by these bandits or terrorists. Shockingly, many of our farmers cannot access their farms these days, while others have to pay levies to bandits before they could access their farms. Presently, the village head of Dijana, Mr. Ayuba Dodo Dakolo, and about 25, about 24 members of his community are in the hands of bandits. Similarly, 12 members of the Kateri community, including women and children, are also in the hands of bandits. The base of our knowledge, our communities are not aware of the involvement of any of our members, either directly or indirectly, in any verifiable cases of banditry. Governor Erufai had on the 19th of May received the court, first quarter security report for year 2022, where it was proposed that the communities be relocated and cleared, also stating in that report was that the harbor criminals informants with bandits to commit heinous crimes in the communities along Kaduna Abuja Highway. Constructive engagement between the relevant government agencies and critical stakeholders in their respective communities to foster a workable synergy in the fight against banditry in the area. The continuous um, mention of Regina, Katari, and Akilubu axis in all these crimes, particularly the uh, safety or lack of it of the Kaduna Abuja Road. We have been exploring what to do about these three settlements, whether to relocate them to near Kagarku, whether to clear the entire settlement, and let's look at the options. Because it is very clear that there are higher level of informants and criminals in this location. There is a, something wrong with these three settlements and government should not refuse to do anything or fail to do anything. We have to look at options, including the clearance of the settlements completely and the relocation of the people to where other more honest people can watch. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.